What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. and jewelry watches bags stolen i hate it happened to your unk Channing sharp's home in la was burglarized last week's cops say the thieves made off with around one million in goods from the ex nfl stars residence law enforcement tells tmz sports the break-in happened on may 19th between 7 p.m and 9 30 p.m after sharp had left his place for a few hours in the early evening we're told when sharp returned home after dinner with friends he noticed something was not right, so he called the police. Shannon told the cops that he was missing expensive watches, jewelry, and some designer bags. According to law enforcement, there was no obvious sign of forced entry, and an investigation to the matter remains ongoing. No arrests have yet to be made, but make no mistake, Shannon wants the perpetrator held accountable. So much Sharp has put up a 50K reward for info leading to the arrest and conviction. Woo! Now, this is a strange story because if Shannon was only gone for two hours, what's up? What's up? What's up? It's show sure, boy. Can't touch on this shit. Amen. Say, man. We are lit. Eh? Lit the motherfucking teeth, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today? To motherfucking day? They hood and outside big crib out here, man. Hey man, Simon, we're gonna say turn, 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 in the dang. So, um, this is getting wild, man. Our lives been going on, oh, man. Let's get turned, man, man. Let's get turned, let's get turned, let's get turned, man. Make sure you like and subscribe up for your boy. And let's go and get this shit. <laughs> let's get this shit started, man. Hey man, Simon, we out here for the one time, one, one time, man. So, I right, boom, man. So, if y'all just seen from the beginning, Shannon Sharp house got burglarized, man. And let's go and get this high. Let's go and put this. Let's not say. Let's let's not say little little big little 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 big gun John and Dylan Dylan Cancun Brooks. Then she the hitters on them. <laughs> little big gun John and Dylan Dylan Cancun Brooks. They sit the hitters out of them on Shannon Sharp. They came in like this. <laughs> Dang, man. Hey, man, say, man. So, you know, Shan Sharp, he talks a lot of mess, man. Now, and this is what I would say about these celebrities, man. I don't know, celebrities sometimes be thinking it's kind of sweet because they famous, they super famous, and they feel like they can get touched. Nigga, anybody can get touched at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Um, so they waited. They waited for Shannon Sharp. They knew that Shannon Sharp was in the crib. They waited till he left. Now, you know, rich people, they houses be so goddamn big. You know what I'm saying? That they they can't they, they don't be they don't be locking everything. They windows don't be locked sometimes. The um the the doors don't be locked. You know what I'm saying? So it's so many inches into a big ass fucking house. That's the only thing. That's the only thing about a big ass house is because it's it's too damn big, you know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers don't have security guards 24-7. You know what I'm saying? It's too many spots to get inside the crib. You know what I'm saying? So they said it was no no forced entry. So if you don't know when there's no forced entry, that means they didn't break into nothing, they didn't pick the locks, they didn't break the windows, they didn't you know what I'm saying? Going the sideway, make a hole in the ground or some shit. They just, they just, um, open the door or open the window and went in. These niggas done stole over a million dollars worth of jewelry, nigga, and bags. Damn, Shannon Sharp, you getting shit for charity, nigga. This nigga, this nigga giving shit away for charity. Shannon Sharp, you should have just gave me a fucking, um, a Richie Millie. Give me a fucking a ring, a motherfucking diamond ring, or some earrings, a, a grill, nigga. I would take all that, a chain, nigga. What we talking about? Nigga, nigga took a, over a million dollars worth of shit, man. And Shannon Sharp talking about, oh yeah, I'm giving a 50k reward for anybody who finds, bitch. They 
they took over a million, nigga. <laughs> we had to push that up to 300,000. Fuck we talking about? You know what I'm saying? This nigga, I need 300 racks, nigga, for, for us to find these burglars. No cap, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, man, I guess they want like a little dinner date. And came back. That hoe empty as hell, man. And you know, everybody fuck with Shannon Sharp, man. But but if you go online, man, a lot of people say that Shannon Sharp is a cool man. You know what I'm saying? That he be having cool shit. He don't he don't he don't have, he don't have no smoke for no white people before the black people. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to black people, we got all the smoke. But when it comes to white people, they don't have no smoke. It's all like yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. You know what I'm saying? Nothing else, nothing more. And I know a couple of people who do that shit. When it comes to white people, they all up their asses. But when it comes to black people. Now they 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 act like they, they act like the black people um the worst thing since since fucking bread like since the first thing made you know what I'm saying and they be black people they be cooning you know what I'm saying and so you know motherfuckers get mad You're like damn you got all this shit you got all this money all this everything and you kissing the white man ass and not even trying to help the black people out so niggas get mad you know what I'm saying niggas would get mad they was like oh yeah okay. He got this, whoop whoop that, he living nice, he got all this shit. He might as well test to see what he can get, what he got. You know what I'm saying? So, niggas were bold that night. You know what I'm saying? And I can't say if it's the niggas who know these niggas. It, it might be somebody he know. Or it might be somebody who's been like, been watching this shit since the beginning, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially in LA, man. Um, LA is like, almost like the setup capital, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You go to LA, you, you, you like officially might get set up. That's like a, 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 a set up already. You move out, the, you move, you move to LA. That's a set up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? That's a that's a whole setup move to LA because how the the gun rules and everything is made, is made. It's not made for the regular people. It's not made for civilians. It's made for um. It's made for um. It's made for um motherfuckers who who um who. who and you can't even carry guns, you know what I'm saying? So, house hunters made for thieves. You know what I'm saying? Only thieves can really survive in that bitch because civilians ain't gonna get their shit robbed. And then, the, uh, the, the, the popo act like they wanna help. Them niggas don't give a fuck about nothing, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, you ain't paying them niggas I.O. pocket to help do what they do. They ain't care about nothing. So, Sam Sharp was just an easy lick at that, at that point, man. And... I don't know how I, a nigga like me, if I was like super, super famous and all that shit money, nigga, I had, I wouldn't say I had security, but I, man, I'd be, man, I'd be, I'd be ready, nigga, cause I know niggas be trying to get my shit, nigga. Nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga be broke and they still try to get your shit. Nigga, you, be, you can be broke and they still try to, try to get your shit. So imagine you having a lot of shit. And plus, you know, it's been a pandemic and shit, you know, the niggas are hungry. Niggas are ready for a lick. Any type of way, they wait for a lick just to get a lick. You know what I'm saying? That hoe could have been like a hundred thousand dollars. They would have been good. But these niggas stole over a million dollars worth of shit in his fucking crib. Shannon Sharp, I know you sick, but I know he got that ESPN money. I know he got that ESPN money, that, that undisputed money, and that motherfucking football money. So he gonna get he good. He probably I don't know if the nigga got insurance on his shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if he got insurance on his shit, but cause he might not be able to get his shit back. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't, I ain't gonna say, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sad for um Shannon Sharp, man. But for the dudes who did it, good motherfucking shit, man. I ain't gonna cap, man. Cause, but I don't want nothing shit like that to ever happen to me. But man, you know it's a, it's a, it's a tough, tough world out here, man. And I understand it, nigga. Niggas be hungry. Niggas ain't got no food. Niggas be starving. Niggas be wanting extra shit. And these niggas just be moving around with talking all this type of type of crazy ass shit. Hate. You know, don't, don't really like black people. And they want to talk shit. And then they got all this goddamn shit. Don't don't help people out. And if they do help people out, it's specific people they want to help out. It's not regular. It's not really regular people and shit. So, hey, nigga came for that shit. And yeah, got, hey, got hit for a lick. Fuck they talking about. And, um... That's what I'm saying, man. Niggas be, do, niggas be talking all that crazy shit and be getting robbed, man. And I think a reason a lot of these motherfuckers get robbed because they don't be helping out the community, man. You know what I'm saying? They don't be helping out the community, bro. That, I, I think that's what the main thing is. Because I feel like if, if, if Shannon Sharp did more charities, he wouldn't have got robbed. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, if a niggas... I'll tell you, because niggas... 
niggas take shit like niggas, niggas be broke as hell they'll take your shit nigga imagine if you got some shit nigga they ready for your shit nigga especially don't help niggas you know what I'm saying you, you wanna like all these white people and don't don't and you got these specific black you got these specific people you only help you only you only help you only help these specific black people you don't help nobody else you know what I'm saying don't help no black people don't help nobody else then you gonna help then you want to help the white people and the other races, but you, before you want to help the black people. You know what I'm saying? So that's, I feel like that's why people be, why niggas be getting robbed. You know what I'm saying? Because they see, because you see all these motherfuckers are, are down in the dirt struggling. But the most they get out of it, see, they like seeing niggas struggling and, 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 and go to jail and, and fall off and, like that J.A. shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he got, like, motherfuckers be liking what, shit like that. They don't want to help the black community. They're like, he, he could be like, oh, yeah, oh, Jay, we understand what you're talking about, man. Man, the gun shit is crazy. Yeah, you're not supposed to have a gun. Of course, that shit crazy. But, we get it. White people do the same damn thing. Or, whoop the whoop whoop. We understand what type of age we in. Nope, they go straight for the, 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 the white people. Like, they go straight for, like, oh, what the white people think. Send that nigga to jail. Take all this money. Whoop the whoop this, whoop the whoop that. You know what I'm saying? I don't even give the black people a chance to understand what's, what we're going through. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers be like that. You know what I'm saying? They'll support the black, the, the white man before the black man. Because the, because the white man like, helped them out. Bitch, the only reason that the white man helped you out because they use you. And you do some certain things what the black man wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? So, and they feel like they owe the white man so much gratitude and shit and like I said, man, that should be crazy, man. You know, that's how and that's how licks, that's how shit happen, man. Cause they like, man, this nigga talk shit. All this nigga do is want to talk shit about shit, shit on the black people. He kissed the white man ass and don't even help us out. Ain't staying out city too. Oh nah, that's a lick. You know what I'm saying? And they don't have no sympathy for it because it's like you feel me? But I, I fuck with Shannon Sharp. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's good to see a black man win. At times, you know what I'm saying? They even have the time they don't be supporting us on the supporting us like a hundred percent. But you know, it's good seeing black people win. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. That's how I be feeling about robberies sometimes, man. Um especially by famous, famous, famous um black people. I feel like y'all need to do more charity. Y'all need to help black people out. Y'all need to stop watching black people just suffer and and start helping people out. You know what I'm saying? That I feel like that would be a whole, like, if you would've got that million dollars to the black people, you wouldn't have got robbed, nigga. Simple as that, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, but motherfuckers be like, oh, why do I have to help out people? I do this all on my own. I shouldn't have to help out nobody. <laughs> well, okay, yeah, it sounds good, you know what I'm saying? It sounds it, it sound good in theory until some shit happens, you know what I'm saying? And shit can go left real quick, you know what I'm saying? And, and that, that million right there is gonna be tough, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, Shannon Sharp probably got a whole bunch of more money in his in his bank account than what than what like, than, you know what I'm saying than what than what they took you know what I'm saying so he could probably get that shit replaced just like that he probably just mad because like damn they really came into my crib and robbed me man like I said man the cooling for these black the cooling for these black for these black celebrities are off the tr- charts right now. You know what I'm saying? They cool for anything. Not knowing that we the black Hebrew like Hebrew like is the black Hebrew Israelites, you know what I'm saying? And they and they cool. They just, all they do is cool, you know what I'm saying, for, for the white man. So hey, you wanna eat by yourself? <laughs> okay, yeah. You eat by yourself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you could have helped out y'all could have helped out all these all these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see it. He's struggling. But y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? And that's not it's not shots at, every, at everybody, you know what I'm saying? Cause, you know what I'm saying? It's the same motherfuckers on this bitch, man. But you feel me? Um, that's how it goes, man. Um, so Shad Sharp, he down bad right now, man. Um, I wonder how he feel now. How he how he gonna come in the office? Cause he, he, I bet. I, <laughs> I bet that nigga. Gonna, I bet that nigga. Gonna, I bet that nigga gonna hate black people even more. Hear that? I love black people, man. We, we crazy, man. We do some crazy ass shit when it's tough, when it gets tough, man. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't mean the part of like motherfuckers take my shit. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do? Just, just you just gotta keep on getting your money and protect yourself better next time, or it won't be in next time. You know what I'm saying? So that's how life goes, man. Um, uh, these robberies are. I think they they getting kind of more 
intense lately. Because like I said, motherfuckers are stingy, you know what I'm saying? They got all this shit, but don't want to help nobody out. You feel me? And black community start, that black community start waking up and like, huh, I like these people, but it's like all they do is talk shit about us and they don't want to, they don't even want to help us out. You know what I'm saying? So I think motherfuckers are waking up to that type of shit. It's like, damn, they entertaining. They cool and everything, but when it comes to helping out, they not helping us out. They just getting bagged and leaving us in the dirt. So that's how it goes sometimes, man. And little big gun jar and cat. Dylan Cancun Brooks and shit the hit us out. <laughs> Let me chill out for that. I actually think that Dylan Brooks and Ca- Dylan, Dylan Cancun Brooks and, and Lil Big Gun Jaw actually did them shit the hit us out. Or they was the ones who did it. <laughs> imagine. Imagine if it was Dylan Brooks. And man, that'd be crazy. Big Lil Big Gun J. That'd be crazy, man. Hey, man. Say, man. Make sure y'all fuck with your boy, man. Uh, there's a couple of videos I wanted to put out today, man. We gonna keep on putting out that litty heat, man. And yeah, let's keep on rocking and keep on doing our thing, man. Black Lives Matter. You hood street niggas in this bit at the end of the day. And hey, you might get hit. Your, your house might get hit for a lick. But that's why you gotta be stay prayed and stay prayed and, and, and yeah, and, and protect that at the end of the day, man. And I ain't trying to wish nobody getting their house robbed or getting robbed because that's not fun for nobody. Who knows? They could have went left. So at the end of the day, man, y'all just gotta be protected, man. And, yeah, we out this bitch hood, and I'm sorry, Big Crip, man. Gang, gang. Hey, Dad, you know what I want. We link up, dog. This shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Pull that everywhere.